Today I'm going to connect some lights to my power supply. I have here a power supply that comes with a power jack. Now the power jack has a black lead and a red lead and the LEDs, I have my LEDs here you can see, each LED also comes with the same color wires. red wires and black wires. Now the first step when starting with a power jack is deciding how you want to have the power jack attached to your project. For my project I built a mock-up of a base. Probably I would build my base out of something a little nicer than cardboard but this is just an example. Now in the base I've drilled a hole about the size of my power jack. And what I'm going to do is thread the jack in. You can see the power jack has a little bit of a squared off edge on it that helps it stay like that. Okay, so now when I'm ready, I can plug my power from my power jack right into this power supply right into my jack. Now on the inside of my base, I'm going to need to secure this so that it doesn't get pushed in. I like silicone, and silicone comes in a lot of different packages. These are all clear silicones. Um, it's sometimes called automotive or household adhesive. Um, a real popular brand is Goop. All of these are basically silicone adhesive and they're very nice because they're bulky and they'll hold this switch in place once they dry. This power jack, I should say. Okay, so I'm going to take my adhesive and squirt it around on the inside of my model. I'm going to let the glue dry on my power jack. Now for this project I decided to get an on-off switch. Switches are nice if you want to be able to turn your lights on and off without plugging and unplugging the power jack. So I decided to mount my switch on the top. You can disguise the switch um, however you want. I'll take one lead from the switch and bring it down underneath to connect to my power jack. The other lead from the switch is going to go to my lights. Now going back to the underside, I'm going to connect my switch to the power jack by twisting the wires. Some people ask, is solder um, necessary? It's not absolutely necessary, but um, it is nice. You can think of solder like glue. It'll make sure your joint stays solid over time. So I've added a little bit of solder, and then I'm going to put on my shrink tube. Okay, now I still need to bring power outside of this box. So I'm going to take my red wire and come up through the second hole. So now on the top of my base I have two wires. One from my switch and one from my power jack. These two fine wires need to go into my lighting project. 